Hey everybody, Phone Scoop here, taking a quick look at the new BlackBerry Bold 9700. This happens to be the T-Mobile version, although of course it will also be available from AT&T, supporting 3G data on both networks. And uh, so you can see the Bold here is a very Curve-esque type device. It's, uh, it's very small, fits in the hand well, and is made from uh, very solid materials. We zoom in here close on the front, you can see we've got send and end keys, BlackBerry key, back key, and the optical uh, mouse, a uh, little trackpad there to interact with the screen. And we have a um, little keyboard here. You can see the uh, keys are, are slightly sculpted and uh, this makes them uh, stand out very well. And it's very easy for your thumb to find the uh, particular keys you're looking for. And the addition of these uh, frets, as uh, as Research in Motion refers to them, uh, between their keys uh, helps you know f helps your thumb figure out exactly where it is when you're sliding up and down. On the left side of the phone, we've got a three and a half millimeter headset jack here, micro USB port here, and uh, user definable um, application key here. This has uh, good travel and feedback. Nothing along the bottom. And on the right, we've got several other keys. We've got, again, a user-definable key here, although the default is to launch the camera with this key, and the volume toggle here. On the top, we have the um, lock and unlock key, as well as the uh, silence key built in here under the top surface. And the back of the Bold 9700 has uh, the 3.2 megapixel camera and the flash there. And you can see it has this... Um, faux leather surface to it. So, uh, very quality hardware. I have to say, it's, uh, it's quite a well-designed and put-together phone. Everything about it works well and feels good, and I'm certainly impressed with the build quality. So, um, big ups to Rim on that. So, let's take a dive into the uh, user uh, interface and see how it works. The basic BlackBerry user interface hasn't changed all that much over the years. Uh, we've got a basic home screen here and um, a number of pre preloaded applications that are here along the bottom. And of course you can change all those and put anything you want there. Hitting the BlackBerry key pulls up the main menu and this is where your typical grid is and where you can see all of the different things that are in here. Of course, the BlackBerry key again uh, lets you interact with the main menu, and as you can see, you can do things like hide icons, move them into folders, uh, create folders, and uh, even access uh, additional options, such as uh, changing the way the, the home screen is laid out and the wallpapers and things like that. We'll just jump back. and. Um, and of course, the settings menu, you'll see uh, not much has changed in the way uh, Research in Motion organizes things. Just this simple text menu on a, on a white background. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, though. I mean, obviously, there's a lot here that you can adjust and, uh, and use to make the uh, Bold 9700 yours. As for features, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty full-featured smartphone. We've got a full email client on here, of course. Supports up to 10 email accounts. Threaded messaging and... Um, and exchange support for contacts and calendar information. We've got a browser here, which uh, will load up. And uh, you can see we've done some browsing on good old phone scoop. And if we choose to uh, go to another page, we can uh, very easily do that. We'll just uh, jump to CNN real quick. You can see it's on Edge and Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, working via Wi-Fi right now. So it's pretty pretty speedy with uh, the Wi-Fi connection. It also does pretty well with the 3G connection. So uh, you can see the browser working there. We'll jump back out. Of course, has a full media menu. So you have all your music, your videos, uh, ringtones, pictures, video camera, and voice notes here. Diving into the pictures real quick, we'll... Um, Go back and you can see uh, how we've got the, uh, the gallery application here, and um, that's how the media works. And of course, uh, you've got the um, BlackBerry app world here, and uh, you can use that to download and access all sorts of different applications. And um, you can see uh, how, the, how the app world works here, and you can uh, uh, scroll from application to application using the uh, optical mouse key, which is, uh, which is really nice. And you can see how fast that works. It, uh, it works really well. So back out to the home screen. Um, of course, BlackBerry is uh, compatible with tons of different software, and uh, users can download and configure it to uh, to their tastes. Performance of the phone was really good. We had uh, solid call quality, good signal quality, uh, very good battery life. So 
Uh, the Bold 9700 for both T-Mobile and AT&T is a very solid smartphone for those that need um, you know, a reliable device at their side.